welcome to my notes oracle dba youtube channel today we are going to discuss about how to read or understand explain command query plan in detail as a dba we were heard about multiple times these words execution plan and explain plan so we will try to understand what is an execution plan as a execution plan is a way that the database server executes our queries based on some statistics the optimizer creates an execution plan and the plan is executed step by step by the server and the result is retrieved to us to view the execution plan we can use the explain command so here it has been generated query plan the sequential scan of the particular table and cost value rows and width so the first one is a startup cost is estimated postgres computational unit to start up a node to start the process of the query the second one is car total cost it which is estimated postgres computational unit to finish process the query and return results and the second value is output rows which is estimated number of rows returned to it the last one is with or average row size in bytes which is estimated size of each output rows here the startup cost and total cost are separated by double dots as a simple definition we can say the select query cost 6 computational unit and returns 400 rows with each weights of 10 bytes the sequential scan means it iterates through all rows in the table note these stats values are estimated what is a explain plan explain plan means the explanation of execution plan this plan explain us how will the database server execute our query here the major part is explain is used which means that the statement is not executed we only get a prediction of what is likely to happen we can however make to use the analyze keyword which does the run the query and prints more detailed information of the output let's add the analyze command in our previous query as you can see the plan shows planning and execution time it also added actual time for sequential scan with similar format as cost startup time total time startup time the time taken to start up the node and start sequential scan total time the time taken to finish the query and returns output rows rows number of rows written loops how many sequential scan was performed this query does one sequential scan that returns 400 rows and takes around 0.406 milliseconds how to read the explain query plan to read or understand the explain query plan we have to follow the thumb rule is top to bottom right to left each work is handled by a node in postgresql we can think a node is almost like a node in a tree of data structure each node can have a child nodes the easiest way to spot a node in query plan is where to point the arrow marks let's take the query plan for the city and office table has joined based on the office id is less than 10 and office city id and city city id should match each other so the planner has generated the query plan our parent or top mode node is has joined which contains the total cost of 7.55 and the number of rows were retrieved is 10 and the average width size is 25 so as we know how to read the planner the thumb rule is top to bottom and right to left so now we are going to understand how the total cost has been retrieved for this top node so i am going into one step down here the bit heap scan on the office table and has joined on the same indent level so I am going with the bit heap scan on the office table. So here the total cost is 6.35 and the number of rows were retrieved is 10 and that average row with size is 10. So 
next i am going into one step down right to left so here it it performs the bit index can on the office table that cost varies 0.00, .00 and total cost is 4.22 number of rows were 10 the thing is here the total cost and number of nodes the child of this bit index scan is passing the value to the parent bit heap scan on the office table that's why it is getting that 6.35 if you see the cost 4.3 is the starting value which means the total cost of the index scan office table which passing the value to the starting cost of the parent is bit heap scan on the office table that's why that bit heap scan which gets the total cost is 6.35 and the rows also getting from the child node that number of rows were 10 and width also the size is 10 at the next we have to go into the at the same level is hash the hash cost is 1.04 as the start cost and the total cost is 1.04 and the number of retrieved rows were 4 and the average width is 15 so now i am going into one step down the index the child of this node is sequential scan on the city so the startup cost is 0, 0.00 and the total cost is 1.04 and the number of rows were retrieved is 4 and with this 15 so uh, what we are going to understand this is the child node which passes the value of the startup cost and the number of rows to the parent node hash so that's why the startup cost is 1.04 and the number of rows were retrieved from sequential scan to hash the parent node and with as well so here we are getting the cost is 1.04 as the total cost and our the bit heap scan which gets the total cost is 6.35 so the total of 6.35 and that 1.04 is the total value has been passed to the hash joint which the total cost is 7.55 and the number of rows also passed from the here to over there if you see the width as well the width of 10 and that hash value of width 15 the total value has been passed to here to the parent node is 25.